Hello, ladies and germs. Welcome to another episode of the most exciting show called Morningwood. Uh, you may or may not remember my co-hosts, Soul Sister, Awkward Annie, and Mm-hmm Girl. Hi! Hi. So, a lot has happened since our last show, as always. And first and foremost, President Barack Obama has been re-elected. Yes! Four more years! Take that, Mitches! I for Obama two more times. I for four more years. No deportation. No deportation. You know what? Obama, four more years. Together, forever, two times. No deportation. I for. Ah, yeah, yeah. I for. Just so. Sister, just so. so, so. Are, are you done? Get it together, okay? okay. Please. Uh, Forgive my excitement. You are not the only one excited about this re-election. Did you guys hear about the woman in Kenya? Huh? No. Wait, Kenya's in Europe, right? Really, Annie? Anyway, back in Kenya, a woman called Millicent, on the day of the election, gave birth to two healthy twin boys and decided that one she was going to call Barack and the other one Mitt. Yes, she said she did not want to forget about the exciting event. Wow. So, la, 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 la. she named one of her children after a, a winning leader of the free world yes. and the other one after a losing Republican. Shame, shame. Just. Who is going to pay for that losing child's therapy? It's exactly what I was going to say. I mean, that this is like, this is like as if I would call one of my twins Alec Baldwin and the other one, uh, one of the other Baldwins. Yeah, or, or like calling one of them Malcolm X and the other one DMX. Yeah, you know, if I had twins, I would name one peanut butter and the other one jelly because you can't have one without the other. Uh, yeah, you can. You can just have the peanut butter. No, uh Who ever heard of peanut butter without jelly? Obviously, people can't afford luxuries like jelly, Annie. Ever heard of a recession? No. Well, I just think that the woman shouldn't be uh, surprised if one of them comes home with big ears and a big brain while the other one just comes home with a binder full of bitches. <laughs> but I mean, I understand why you'd want to name your child Barack. Right? It's such a strong African name like Mufasa. Yeah, that's real pretty. Moving on, CIA Director General David Petraeus uh, recently resigned due to extramarital affairs. So reportedly he has been getting it with or getting in with the woman who was writing his biography called, and we're not making this up, all in. W O W. Whoa. Another day, another man in power, brought down by his own uh, penis. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I just think, you know, uh, a CIA director can't even keep his own secrets. He should have called my third ex husband and got some pointers because God knows he knew how to get a little ledge on the side without getting caught. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Well, you know, I like that his biographer named his book All In. Because it kind of sounds like a porno. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just think general penetration just uh, gave the term whistleblowing a whole new meaning. <laughs> so congratulations, General Petraeus. You can officially now carpool with Arden Schwarzenegger while you go to the Cheaters Club meetings together. Yeah. Well, you know, I've seen pictures of General Penetratius, and even I would at least think before I let him invade my... Don't say it. So, we do have a special surprise for you today. We are going to have a special guest. He's an actor, he's a screenwriter, and he's got the greasiest, shiniest hair I've ever seen in my entire life. Please welcome Pedro's last name I cannot pronounce. Yay! Hi, thanks for having me on the show. Welcome, Pedros. So, tell us a little bit about the essence of this Pedros last name I cannot pronounce. Uh, well, it's actually pronounced uh, Ioannou. It's, um, it's, it's Greek. <gasps> oh, Greek? Um, you know what they say, once you go Greek, 
You've hit your peak. Well, they, they, were, they were totally talking about me, baby. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a screenwriter and an actor, and I'm, uh, I'm producing a web series as well. It's, um, it's a bit different to this one, though. So it's boring. Well, no, it's uh, it's just a different kind of entertaining. I mean, it's uh, it's it's a web series um, about a about called My Life as a Video Game. It's about a gamer guy who never really uh, always felt like an outcast in, in, in his life, and one day he finds this like magical disc that sucks him into a world of video games, and he's like um, fighting through all the different genres from like first person shooters like Call of Duty, and then like. Um, He's in a uh, side scrolling beat 'em up like Double Dragon and a big RPG fantasy thing. Um, it's and it's um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an awesome project. It's gonna be a lot of fun. He's got, he's gonna become a hero and like defeat this like evil general in order to find his way home. Oh, evil general! Is his name by any chance uh, Petraeus? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no it's, a, it's a different general. So your web show sounds super cool. I love video games. Do you need a sidekick? Because I've been taking Tabo classes online. I have a question. Are there any, you know, black characters in this video game world of yours? Well, actually, I mean, when writing the show, I never really thought about, like, um, I thought, I thought about color when I was of casting. Of course you didn't. Character. No, no, of I, course I, you did didn't. Uh, huh? Was, huh? If you did, he would probably be, be a villain. Or, 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 or he would die yeah, okay, first. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let us just... Get back to the show, really. Yes, yeah, so you were totally talking about how I would make the perfect sidekick because I have great cheeks. Uh, well, um, as flattered and honored, honored as I am, I'd really, um, I, um, yeah, we, we've already cast the, uh, the female lead in this, um, great actress, name, name's, um, uh, her name's Jennifer Polanski and very talented. She, she's, she's like princess. So no. <gasps> Just ignore Mostly. her. That's what I do. So tell us, uh, Pedro's last name I cannot pronounce. Is this show only going to be for video gamer geeks? Um. Uh, well, no, actually, it's a. It's just a general entertainment. It's gonna be funny and kind of heartfelt at the same time. It's um. It's a great project, really. I mean, it's and it's um. It's anyone who wants to see something new on the web, something that's entertaining and isn't uh, and. Like, is like high production value and fun. Like, it's gonna be awesome. Um, I love your accent. Is it Thank France? You. Do you mean French? No, I mean France. No, no, it's, uh, it's British from England. Oh, well, that's close enough. <laughs> yeah, so when can we see your show? Um, well, we're looking for a spring 2013 <laughs> release. So let me get this straight, Pedro's last name I cannot pronounce. You came here to beg for money. Well, I'm... Well, let me tell you what I told my fourth ex-husband. I ain't got shit for you! Hi, he's just advertising his web series, Nancy, even though it has no people of color in it. Um, uh, well, 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 I mean, I was always more about character and I, I could have a character in there who's a like kind of a maybe a sassy kind of um, assassin with dreadlocks. Oh, I'm listening. I do not think so. If anyone is going to have a cameo on Pedro Sister's show, it's going to be Annie. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being our special guest on our special show of Morningwood. Um, please tell your geeks of fans where they can find your show and whatnot. Okay. Um, the show uh, can be found at www.mylifeisavideogame.com. So, I was thinking, I'm adorable, and you have a South American accent, so the obvious thing for us to do is spend Thanksgiving together. Sure, why not? Let's go. Let's. <laughs> Bye, girls. <laughs> well, look at that. Bye. Isn't any something else? So, thank you for tuning in. Again, this wraps for this week's Wait, episode. Wait, hold on.
I have an announcement. Okay. As you know, over the past few episodes, I have been referred to as Mm-hmm Girl. Mm-hmm. I have come to the realization that this name is doing nothing for my career, and it's holding me back. In the words of Rick Ross, these hoes won't hold me back. So from now on, I'd like everyone to address me by my government name. Say what? Ladies and others, my real name is... <laughs> Feel shit, feel shit, cooler than the coolest bed, y'all feel shit, feel shit, feel shit, cooler than the coolest bed, y'all feel shit. Who the fuck is I? Who the fuck I be? Like.